Hey, did you know that Egypt used to be a Christian country? Most people don't know that. Uh, but before Islam, Egypt was a Christian country. Now, it was under the rule of Rome, and they suffered terrible persecution. Uh, because why? They wouldn't bow to the gods of the Romans. When the Muslim warriors came centuries later, the patriarch of Egypt basically gave up without a fight because he's thinking anybody has got to be better than these Romans. And that was unfortunate because that has ushered in 1,400 years of persecution. So for all that time, for almost 1,900 years, Christians have lived in persecution in Egypt probably longer than any other people on earth. Egypt is currently ruled by a military dictator, al-Sisi, and he says a lot of the right things. So to the West, he's like, oh my gosh, this guy's so much better uh, for the Christians. But it's all a lot of talk, because in the end, he's also a politician. And Egypt, as a people, are very fundamentalist Muslims. And so they believe in persecution, they believe it's right. Uh, Sisi basically is a politician, so he lets the Muslims, the radical Muslims, have their way with Christians. And so things are getting worse. So just last Friday, a young Christian man was gunned down at work by masked extremists. Uh, and a few weeks ago, a Coptic priest was stabbed numerous times, stabbed to death by an extremist. And recently, nine believers were arrested. What do you think they were arrested for? Well, their church had burned down, and so they were peacefully protesting, just asking the government to let them rebuild the church. And this, they typically won't. The government will say, oh, the church is destroyed. You can't rebuild it. Slowly trying to strangle Christianity. So look, those are just three snapshots. There's lots of other incidents, but persecution is getting worse. You know, 3,500 years ago, God raised up Moses to bring the Jews, to shepherd the Jews out from under Pharaoh, out from under Egypt, back to Israel. And do you know what the Bible says about the end times in Egypt? It says that in the end times, Egypt is going to turn back to him and they will be his people. Now, in the meantime, there's a lot of work to do. And we do a lot of work working with kids, with Muslim converts and different things like that. If you'd like to join us in this work, I would welcome that. Say, God bless you. Thank you for caring for your persecuted brother and sister.